At first, there were some chairs and roped off areas. Now those haphazard setups on the streets and sidewalks look a lot more put together and they could be permanent lasting past the temporary program set to end in October of 2022. And we hope there are many more. This is the goal. We want as many as possible, but it has to be safe. Right now, 111 restaurants and bars still have permits for temporary outdoor dining spaces in places where people used to walk, park and drive. If it wasn't for the program, I don't think we would actually be in business right now. The owner of Little India says using their parking lots for patrons was a lifeline and they hope to keep it going well beyond next year. That could be possible, but it's not a guarantee. And not every outdoor dining area will be able to operate uh, in perpetuity beyond the extension of next year. Uh, but that's why we're beginning this process now. A permanent permitting process means the Denver City Council will have to vote to change the zoning code, and each applicant will have to submit a proposal again. The Department of Transportation and Infrastructure, or DOTI, says restaurants could be denied if streets are too busy. We want to be safe, right? So we don't want to pe people out there drinking lattes with, you know, cars speeding by. So we're going to look at not only what's happening on the street, but what kind of protection do we want in place? The people in the temporary program already need to submit a renewal application every three months. Katie Eastman, Nine News. Of course, the seasons make a big difference. The city says they'll be taking a hard look at the winter renewals to make sure that plows will still have access to streets and parking lots.